So how long did you remain working with Anaconda in the USA? How many years? Uh, yeah, I was with Anaconda for almost eight years. In the USA? Well, no, not not completely in the USA. I was because based I was based out of the Denver office, yeah. uh, the Anaconda Tower in downtown Denver. But um, worked in the Rockies for four years, including three years in molybdenum exploration, and uh, of course the time in Rico and some Precambrian in the medicine bows of Wyoming. And all this time you were learning the famous anaconda mapping and alteration. I, I'd already gotten that with Marco okay. at, in grad school. Oh, fantastic! I mean, you know okay. those courses were instrumental in in guiding me. Um, the background in it in hydrothermal systems and and porphyries as well. So that uh, you know that served me so well. Um, but coming in after that, I was hired into the uh, the international division and was sent. Uh, this is at Anaconda, was sent in uh, 1981 to Los Palombres, Chile, which is located about 200 kilometers north of Santiago. And it's pretty remote. It was at that time. It was, uh, I mean, you cer certainly could drive it, but they had an airstrip in a small town called Salamanca at the base, and we would fly in a six-passenger Cessna, and then we, we would uh, take a jeep up to the project. So Ana Anaconda had re-entered Chile and was drilling out at that time a massive porphyry copper system. And there was one other female on site, is that right? That's right. I arrived in 1981. 1981. They, they had warned me that this was an all-male camp. So I, I was prepared, but uh, I did arrive in Alejandro Skews, um, a Chilean geologist uh, was there selecting core for her master's thesis, and uh, I, that we struck up a long, long-term. I imagine she was very grateful to see you stepping off the Cessna. <laughs> I think we were both surprised, <laughs> really surprised. And then I stayed for four months. And who else was there at that time? On that uh, that trip was again Bill Wright yeah. was on that. Uh, John Prophet overlapped for the first month. And then he was moving on to form his own consulting firm, Hunt, Wear and Profit. Um, and Tom Barnes from, from Alaska rounded out the group. Excellent. Yeah. And some Chilean geos, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. I mean, presumably the bulk of the people there were Chilean. Mm. So that, that began your South American career. Mm -hmm. And after Palambras, did you do work, further work for Anaconda in, in Chile? Uh, actually, that was that was it. Um, we we were able to have some great field trips after that, and now in retrospect, I look back and see the um, I saw these deposits pre-development. We went to Cabrera Blanca, and and we also went to El Salvador. In in and these were days when it was difficult to get into El Salvador. But uh, the three of us, the geos, had private trips to El Salvador and Cabrera Blanca. And did you